Hello historians! In this video you're going to learn about negative groups including the carpetbaggers and the scalawags during Reconstruction. So first we're going to read from the textbook. The First we're going to read from the Pearson textbook. Some Southerners resented the new state governments that had been forced on them. Others disliked the Northerners who moved south to start businesses. Because they often carried their possessions in cloth suitcases called carpet bags, these newcomers were called carpet baggers. Some carpet baggers came to help, but many came to take advantage of the South's ruined condition. Southerners who supported Reconstruction were given the insultant insulting nickname Scalawags. People also disliked the new taxes. Many Southerners had a hard time paying these taxes because they were trying to rebuild their farms and homes. Many white Southerners did not like the changes brought by Reconstruction. Some resented the new state governments, which they felt were forced on them by outsiders. Some were angered by Northerners who moved south to start businesses. These new arrivals were called carpetbaggers because they often arrived carrying belongings and suitcases made of carpet. Southerners who supported Reconstruction were called scallywags. Carpetbaggers and scallywags were accused of trying to profit from the hardships of the South. New leaders raised taxes to help rebuild roads, construct railroads, and establish a free education system. Many Southerners had a hard time paying these taxes, and they were trying to rebuild their own farms and businesses. So that kind of gives you an idea of what um, carpetbaggers and scalawags were, and really they were nicknames um, given by elite um, Southerners or Southerners who did not support the Reconstruction Plan. Now, also, this is from Mr. Nussbaum's website. Um, this is a cartoon about the carpetbagger. And if you can see carpetbagger south, and if you look at his face, he definitely doesn't look nice. So whoever drew this cartoon, probably a southerner, um, wanted him to look mean and going against the group of the, of the south. And they kind of even pictured him like in a top hat, like Abraham Lincoln, um, and with a scowling face, like he's coming to do something bad. So let's see what this says. Scallywags and carpetbaggers were derogatory terms used in the aftermath of the Civil War. Derogatory is like a put down. Scallywags referred to a group of white Republican Southerners who sympathized with the federal Reconstruction effort. So meaning, so the Republican Southerners are for the Union and agree with what the Reconstruction plan was. Scalawags were often politically allied with allied allied with carpetbaggers, white business people from the north who moved to the south during Reconstruction. Many carpetbaggers were former abolitionists who wished to continue the struggle for equality. So they had some carpetbaggers did have good ideas um, and were former abolitionists, but if you were a southern white elite, you probably were against abolitionists. While other carpetbaggers saw the reconstruction of the South as a political or economic opportunity, so they moved south so they could run for office, or they run, they moved south so they could um, open a new business for cheap. They could get land for cheap, business for cheap, supplies for cheap. Because of the collapse of much of the Southern economy during the Civil War, many Northerners became mayors and political leaders. So these people that kind of intruders southerners would think of them as because they're coming in taking over um which they of course did not like their way of life changed here's that same cartoon and here are some key points that you should know carpetbaggers were government agents politicians adventurers and other northerners who traveled to the south during reconstruction um, a government agent is like uh, someone the government sent on purpose with a plan they were called carpetbaggers because they carried all their belongings in carpet bags, which are similar to today's, like, sports bag, like a duffel bag. Um, if you've ever seen the movie Mary Poppins, she has a carpet bag that's, like, endless, but that's a carpet bag. And some people were genuinely trying to help those in the South. Others were looking to exploit them, and exploit means to, like, take advantage of them, to kind of, like, trick them. So... Southerners who cooperated with the carpetbaggers and who also believed in the Reconstruction Plan 
that the Congress had set up were called scalawags by the southern, mostly southern elite. This was Miss Melton, and I hope you learned about carpetbag carpetbaggers and scalawags.